I'm gonna check this back one out. Boy, you trying to parallel park? What is this? Look at this. Oh, but how am I supposed to ride around like this? So I'm gonna just, I'm gonna have to uh, sand that down, touch that up. That's the, that's the YouTube, YouTube, YouTube. What's poppin', man? You know that grind ain't stopping. Shout out to my notification gang. Don't forget to give that bell a ring, man. Hey, today's video gonna be about how is it riding on rims? Cause uh, I got some things to, I got some things to issue out. You know what I'm saying? Some things to some handle, some things to tell y'all. Some warnings, you know what I'm saying? Some precautions, you know. My phone about to fall. Yeah. There's one on right here. This part, what? All right now. The popcorn. But yeah. Pulling up right now to the crib. I'm gonna let y'all know what it is, man. Cause uh, rims cool and everything, but it's some things y'all gotta know before you get some. Cause once you get them, you be like, man, he did say that. Car reviews by KJ did say that. So I'll let y'all know in a second. We about to hop All out. All right, y'all, we are back, man. I had time to get settled in and everything at the crib. We back. I'll show y'all, man, what y'all looking out for now. So you can see, she looking pretty clean. She looking pretty clean. Might be my thumbnail right there. But man, first thing first, man. When it come to parking, man, your ass gonna be hurting. Don't worry, I don't, I don't rub in the front or nothing like that. But we got, we got rubber bands on there. These my little used wheels I got, man. It kinda, it kinda, I think it set the car off a little bit. Keep it clean. Man, parking. This this wheel is straight. I right, got a little bit like minimum curve rash on. I'ma check this back one out. Boy, you trying to parallel park? What is this? Look at this. Oh, but how am I supposed to ride around like this? So I'ma just, I'ma have to uh, sand that down, touch that up. That's the that's the that's the first that's the main thing. That's hard. Oh yeah, check me out. Check me out. We up there on both sides. You think you got it? You think you, okay? I got enough space to bag up, move it around. Hell no. You gonna screw up? Got a little bit here. I Man, I just hit this one today. Wait a minute. That one right there, that big one. I was mad. It, it make you make that sound. You be you be like ah. Every time you hit something, every time you hit something, it's like that. But yeah, man, it do bring a lot of attention to the car. So like, I got, you know what I'm saying? It get attention to the car. People come up to it, look at it, check out the channel. You know what I'm saying? So it, it is some pros to it because they see a custom car pretty much and then they ain't used to seeing this year Regal. It's a super uh, supercharged year. So, People uh people ask about that a lot. Not a lot, but every now and then. You do get you do get some funny faces though. You're gonna get some funny faces like, oh my god, why is he why is his wheels like that? He barely has tires. Cause I'm on bands. I'm on rubber bands. These 22s, I think they 22 by nine. I bought them used. I think they came up like a uh, a charger, a challenger or something. I'm on wheel size it, tire size it. But it do ride smooth though. It rides smooth. I don't know. There we go. 2230, 22. It still rides smooth. I really don't know how it rides smooth, but it's just the type of car I got. The car already rolled smooth before I put them on there, so I ain't really had to do nothing. Oh yeah, and I did have to throw it uh throw a couple of little uh, assistance in there because when I had passengers that thing will rub a little bit. So this is what I did. You see those little Okay. My man's out here. My man's out here racing. Side track. So you see them little knuckles in there? I put them in there. You get these from like AutoZone, O'Reilly's. They're like ten dollars. You just take a a, a half inch uh, sock. I mean half inch. What's it called? Ratchet. And then you twist that in there. Make sure when you put these things in there that you don't. You want to sit it in there to where it's like. Um. You lift the car up, put it on the lift, and put it in there, and then you're gonna turn it in there. You want it to fit, but you want it to be kinda hard to put in. And if it ain't kinda hard to put in, that thing gonna fall straight out, straight out on the freeway. I had it in for a few miles now. What's going on, bro? 
I headed in for a few miles now and nothing nothing going bad with mine. I ain't really have to do it in the front. But yeah. Hey, drop a comment. Let me know what size rims y'all ride. I I could probably go foes, but man, I'm gonna be cutting it close. I'm cool with these 22s. For gas mileage, gas mileage. Gas mileage, I think it's about the same. I think it just depends on what type of car you got, man. Cause at least this one got a V6. If you got if you got a four cylinder or something like that, yeah, you probably gonna lose gas mileage. Probably gonna lose a lot of gas mileage. But man, I like it, man. I like the way it rides. It still rides smooth. Still ride good. It's treating me good. My gas mileage ain't too too bad. You see where I'm at? You see where I'm from? My gas mileage ain't too bad. They clean up nice. Now, if I would have went chrome. Then I would probably have some issues, but since I went with the little black and brush, they're not that bad. But if you go chrome, man, I don't know. If you go chrome, you're gonna need some. You gonna need a you need at least a V8, man. If you're gonna go like 24s, 20, 26s and stuff like that, you wanna ride big rims, man, you gotta have a big motor. Can't be just throwing, can't be throwing eights on a Honda, man. You can, <laughs> but that transmission, that transmission ain't gonna last too long, brother. Transmission gonna hurt you. I'm gonna be out here struggling. I don't know why I keep walking under this garage. But yeah, man, I finally got my baby running. For those that don't know. Oh yeah. So if you get rims, you can get the ones with the tires that's like a little thicker. My tire is pretty much like flush with the uh, wheel. Barely got tire on it. Look at that. But it's still right good, so don't worry. Get the tires that stick out just a little bit further than the rim, so that way you won't hit the curb when you uh, come up to a curb. But most of the time, when you go past uh, like a 18, 20 inch wheel, then you're gonna be looking at some curb rash because you're gonna hit that curb. Now, with these type of tires, I ain't gotta worry about that crap. It don't really stick out past the tire too much, but it got enough to hit when I uh, pop up on the curb, so. That's gonna say that's gonna be good for these wheels, but this one's gonna be easy to parallel park. I ain't gotta worry about uh I ain't gotta worry about getting no curb rash or no messing up my tires too much with these because these got a lot a lot of meat on them, so yeah man. So in conclusion, get rams man, it ain't nothing against them. You're gonna get funny, you're gonna get funny looks from certain people, but hey your car do what you want to do man do what makes you happy because uh if you ain't happy with the car while you're driving it you know don't just get something boring man fix your car man make it make it fix it up to your liking because you don't fix it up then unless it's just your little daily beater you know what i'm saying then you can just ride it normal but if it's your car that you love you know what i'm saying you you actually enjoy it and stuff like that i want to make a uh another thing on the first five things you should add too like I ain't gonna tell you what they are because that's gonna be another video you gotta watch. But the first five things you add to your car, man. So, y'all stay tuned for that. And then we'll be back with another video, man. Let me know. Let me know. If you're new to the channel, subscribe. If you enjoyed this video, go ahead and give it a like. You know, share this video. If you know somebody that's about to ride rims, to let them know the precautions because uh, it can be costly. Oh, yeah, I forgot. Oh, wait a minute. I forgot to tell y'all. I had a flat the first week I got them. It wasn't this tire right here, but it was the other tire. I had a flat on this joint. So I thought it was a, uh, I thought I like hit a hit a uh, pothole and like bust all the air out of it. But uh, believe it or not, even when it was flat, I was still able to ride decent. I think cause the tire, like just the way the setup is, is so like it's a decent, a decent size thick tire. so. I was able to ride on flat, so I ain't have to worry about it like coming off or nothing. But make sure when you get rims, man, you get your valve stems changed. Cause that's what it was. My valve stem was weak. When I bought these used tires, they ain't put no new valve stems on. They played me. And then uh, I had a flat the first week I had it. And oh yeah, that brake dust too, man. That brake dust ain't no joke. You have to at least wash it at least like once a week, twice a week. But I mean, all that stuff come off, it clean up easy. I'm going to probably do a video on how to fix this curb rash and everything like that, too. So, yeah, man. It's your boy, Car Reviews by KJ, man. We out this joint. Let me know if you appreciated it, man. I'll highlight y'all on the next one. All right.